All right, Andrew, as always, I'm starting with the Tidyverse, getting the Tidyverse packages in there, and we're going to be looking at the Star Wars data set. And for those of you that haven't seen the Star Wars data set before, I'll just put it on the screen right there. Lovely data set to practice your R programming and data wrangling with. And the variable that I'm interested in at the moment, or the column that I'm interested in at the moment, is the films column. So we're looking at each of the Star Wars characters, and here in the films column, we've got a list of all of the movies that they've been in. So we've got Luke Skywalker, and he's been in A New Hope, uh, The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, etc., etc. If we wanted to, looking at this data set, extract out the second movie that Luke Skywalker was in, uh, the question is, how would we do that? And I'm going to show ah. you. I'm going to show you a number of ways to do it. And the first way to do it, I'm not actually going to get into because th this is the sort of base R method, and it's as you can see, very machine friendly and we yeah. often talk about the fact that when we work with the tidyverse it's very yeah. human syntax friendly this right. is very kind of machine orientated with like square brackets as to kind of mm -hmm. where it's going to essentially this is like go to the star wars data set look at the film's column uh, look at the first row of that column and extract the second element but yeah. this is very very clumsy to look at there's yeah. two other ways that i know of to do this the first is what's on the screen at the moment and, and let me just run that code so you can see what it, you know, so the first line of code, The Empire Strikes Back, the second movie of Luke Skywalker, Happy Days, it does what it's supposed to. The second bit of code here, and just a spoiler alert, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you a third way, which is the much, much more elegant way of doing this. But the second way of doing this is using the tidyverse notation. And the reason I wanted to show you this, Andrew, is because in real life, I wouldn't do it this way, but there's mm -hmm. some interesting lessons to learn here. So let's walk through it. Yeah. We've got the Star Wars data set. First, the first line here is slice, which means we'll take the first observation at, and it's numeric. So it's the very first observation. If that was slice two, it would be the second character, et cetera, et cetera. We could here also have said filter and said filter yeah. equals equals Luke Skywalker, and we would get the same observation. So we've got two options there. The next one is one I don't use very often, which is pull, which basically says, I, you, you're saying to R, take a particular column or a particular variable and extract it out um, from the rest. Now, this is different from saying select. If we said select films, what your data object would become at that point would still be a, 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 a tibble or a data, mm -hmm. data frame, and it would be a data frame with just one variable. Yeah. When you do pull, it actually just pu pulls out that variable as a standard.